Hey everyone, I wanted to throw a little quick commentary on this video. Uh, last week's training went, went, I think, really well. Um, what I want to do next week is just get a lot more squat and pressing volume in. So that was just kind of the start of that, uh, of this week. Because Saturdays are kind of like the first day of the week for my uh, training week. Fridays are kind of the conclusion because those are usually the day where I just go heavy in the classic lifts. Um, Fridays or Saturdays, so whichever day after that is usually the, the day one of the week. But I want to get a lot more front squat sessions in this week or just a lot more volume in that movement. And same with overhead presses. Um, I usually offer overhead press if I'm going to get a lot of shoulder volume in versus push press just because it's a little bit easier on the body to do and um, a little bit better compliance with doing those. Uh, and then the tricep extensions, I'll probably throw those in as well. But I was really happy with my last week of training, uh, getting up to the 125 snatch and the, uh, the 155 clean and jerk. Really good day, uh, really good session. Um, only had that one miss at uh, 120 snatch, but I just kind of over pulled that. So you just want to continue. I just want to continue to refine those days and make it so that 125, 155 are like extremely easy uh, and routine. And so those would be like if I do another competition at some point, those would be like the opening weights that I would do. Um, you know, 125 snatch to 130, then something above 130, and then with the cleaner jerks, 155, 160 three probably because that would be a competition PR and then you know like I don't know 170 um, but you know we'll see I obviously have to be much easier than what they are now but um, another thing I am very happy with that clean and jerk um, it's not really something I necessarily keep track of like I don't know what my best beltless clean and jerk is but um, it's always really encouraging when I can get uh, to a heavy weight without a belt because I definitely get some extra help with the belt uh, probably with the stand up and it makes the jerk easier but um, I have had very interesting days where I'll miss like a 150 clean and jerk and it's like not even close and then I'll have a belt on for the next session and I'll be able to get like five kilos more and it looks a lot easier. Um, I happen happens very frequently when I'm in like a competition prep and I start getting used to the belt again. I get a big jump from the, the clean and jerks. Um, obviously I don't wear them for snatches but um, it is really good to be able to hit that, especially with my legs being as weak as me and missing a 170 front squat after that. Um, a very good indicator of that I'm at least moving efficiently. So I um, just want to continue that momentum into uh, this next week and just continue to kind of hammer things down. And uh, also let me know what you think of this little commentary kind of at the conclusion of the week. Uh, I'm doing this at, on the Saturday workout, so, so I guess it'll be technically like day one of the next week, but uh, it'll be easier to do it either like on that Friday session or the one after, probably on the Saturday one since it'll just be like strength work and um, I don't generally will. I, I don't need to look at my front squats or my presses as much as I would like to look at my um, snatch and the jerk for technical stuff. And also, I just you know listening to the sounds as much as I can. Um, which, if you do like listening to like the gym sounds and the weights uh, hitting the ground and stuff, uh, usually um, I have been posting the unedited ones on uh, on BitChute and just it doesn't have any it has the music that I listen to on it and that's why I put music over it sometimes because of the copyright stuff just to avoid um, issues with that and if you notice that sometimes I have music that uh, sounds like it would be copyrighted but uh, there's some artists that they just doesn't pick up in the in the system or they just don't don't put their music into it and I can listen to it and max out to it so um, usually opt for that music just to make editing simpler and I like listening to the sounds and all that good stuff but I've rambled on long enough I'm gonna go uh, well I won't I have to find a mouse trap for one because I saw a mouse earlier little little mouse run around that or I had a uh, aneurysm and I saw a dark thing running uh, underneath the, the shells back here but um, Got to get one of those to uh, hopefully murder another mouse and uh, um, uh, get this edited and whatnot. But a uh, very productive session I felt like today. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed and uh, let me know what you think. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. Talk to you all the next one and I hope you all have a great day. Peace.